Okay, hello, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today, we are at uh, Port Matthew, I think that's how you say that, in the Gata Sector, Gata System. We have done some trading since the last time uh, we did a video. Uh, I should say, I have done some trading since the last time we did a video. Uh, take a look at the station logs. Right? So, uh, right, we left... Where is it? We left... There it is, Iglesias Rock, with, um... 10,000 credits. And... Gone back and forth a couple times. Buying... Farm equipment. And selling it. And we're now at 43... Probably even a little more. Yes, yeah, 63,000 credits. We've almost, almost gotten back up to where we were before we bought the new ship. So today, I want to do uh, a trade run with you. So we start today by going to a system, by picking our system. Uh, so here's Gato. And we've been, I've been trading at uh, Exasun. I think that's how you call it here. And, uh, I think it's about time to find a new system to, uh, source materials from. So, I've done some scouting, and I think, uh, Zebe here. Zeb? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's a made-up, uh, it's a made-up system name anyway, so we'll call it Zeb. Uh, I've been scouting around, and Zeb looks like it has some, uh, good stuff for us. So... It takes four tons to jump. And, oh, Zeeb is a triple star system, so we gotta make sure we go to Zeeb C. Otherwise, we won't end up in the right place. So Zeeb has a few settlements. A is... got nothing. B has a White's Rock here, with uh, Christini City. And C has... Franklin Settlement, and we want to go here, to uh, Masonton. Masonton exports farm machinery. It's a major export of Masonton, so we make a lot of money here. But with a trade route, you know, just one commodity isn't going to do it. We need something to take with us. So let's gas up first. Four tons of fuel. And we need a commodity to take a commodity to take with us. Now, where are we? What station was this? This Port Matthew doesn't really have any good exports for uh, Masonton, unfortunately. But it does have air processors, and the system considered considers this a major export, but right, um, I've been <laughs> buying a fair number of them, so uh, the stock has gone down. So we have four tons of uh, hyperspace fuel, so that lets us buy 46 tons of air processors, and we'll take these to Masonton. So let's get going. I'm not sure how much time the uh, current situation here in uh, Gada has left. Right. Um, because eventually the uh, situation will end and prices for farm machinery will go back to normal and we'll have to look somewhere else for uh, good trades. I think I think we still got one or two more routes left in the the situation, but I'm not sure. I had nothing to do but but guess and hope and wait. So luckily, Zeeb is pretty close. Only two jumps. Four tons of fuel. Uh, when I was going back and forth from Exasun, that only took three tons of fuel, but we 
kind of drained that system already. So, all right, we got to go to Zeb now. And Zeb is nice because it's our target is rather close to our entrance point. So we're going to Masonton. It's only 0.13 AU away, so that's good. Let's see, there it is. I'm gonna spin some fuel to go in the right direction though. And I've been I've been going back and forth a couple times, two or three times now. I could check in the, the logs, but not right now. And I'm kind of disappointing with com disappointed with commodity trading at the moment. Police has gone away, so we can actually thrust now. Yeah, so I'm I'm a little disappointed in commodity trading. Why is this going so slow? <laughs> because. We should have been thrusting them. Uh, but because I'm disappointed because the information on the sector map and the information in the system maps don't really match all the time. In a great number of cases, they don't match at all. So while I was planning out some trade routes, planning out some routes, uh, I was using information from the sector map. But unfortunately, because the sector map information isn't really in sync with what happens in the system, you have to go, you actually have to jump into the system, and then you have to look at the system overview the trade information in the system overview or the system map, right? So we can see here, here, uh, when you don't have anything selected, right? This gives us the the same information as the sector map does. But when we select somewhere, you see how that select a port? You see how the information changes? Oh wait, hydrogen is a major ex hydrogen is a major export. Oh no, it's not. It's a minor import here. Liquid oxygen, major export. Oh no, wait, it's a minor import. So I, these, this mismatch makes it particularly difficult to build a trade route. And that's kind of frustrating. It's frustrating because, oh, 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 slow it down. Because we have to gain the trading best way to do it is to save, go to a system, and then check the, the system information. And if it's got the, the commodities you want, then it's a good system. But, it, but if it doesn't, okay, well, quit and reload. I don't like doing that. That, that feels kind of gamey. And I know it's a game. What do you expect? But... I'd very, very much not like to do that. Right? You consider things like elite or elite. You don't need to, to jump into a system to figure out what you need to trade. You just look at the system map or the sector map. There, in the case of elite or elite, the galaxy map, and. Uh, look at what kind of economy type it is. We don't have that here, so it is difficult to plan out a trade route without saving and reloading, and I don't like that. And that's how I found Masonton. Saved, jumped into the system. Okay, it's good, alright. 
So we'll go back and buy some commodities. It's not, not my favorite thing to do. But we're getting close now, and if I keep talking about this, I'm probably going to screw up. So let's uh, see. Uh, I'm, I'm already making mistakes. Let's, so let's stop talking about the way the game works. <laughs> Start concentrating on flying. <laughs> okay. So let's slow down a bit more. We don't need to actually slow down that much. There we go. Prograde marker just over Masonton. And we'll just kind of glide in for the moment. Masonton's pretty big. Masonton, no, Franklin Settlement is pretty big, so we can't keep the braking meter in the green. We want to keep it about two thirds. maybe three-fourths uh, because otherwise gravity will pull us in yeah this is an okay approach I think we're gonna do this okay have to make sure pro-grade marker stays up there. Okay, let's slow down. We can see it. We're not even zoomed in. This is good. There's the traffic control. Yeah, this is pretty good. Zoom a minute. So it's a six pad, six pad uh, port. So we're in not quite 10 kilometers yet. We'll wait until we get to 10 kilometers and then we'll request docking. Oops, there we go. Get our pad. Docking Bay 1. Where is Docking Bay 1? There it is. Alright. Cruise mode. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was. That was excellent. Look at that. We're right there. <laughs> hmm? Docking Bay 1, right? Right. Why is my target gone? Huh. That's odd. Alright. Well, let's let's level out. Put down. Okay. Only a dollar for docking. That's nice. So let's gas up before I forget, because I always forget. Um, fill up on hyperfuel since we only need four to go back. Let's make some money. 46 units, 9,000 credits. Yes, please. And let's take our farm machinery back. 64 credits for a single ton of farm machinery. And we sell it for 400. That's excellent. 
Okay, let's go back. Uh, we'll set our. Where's Gata? Let's see. I have lost Gata. So that's the Zeb. Zeb. Gata. There it is. Four tons. Only a day. That's good. Since I don't know how much time we have left to exploit this current situation. Let's leave this rock behind. It's a big rock, though. So, like I was saying beforehand, the trading. The trade computer at least could use some work because it doesn't really work. And gaming the system just feels wrong. It really does. I'd really much rather be able to use the information the game gives us rather than go to a system uh, and then if the conditions aren't favorable, reload. It doesn't feel right. I don't... Something feels wrong about that. But, it is what it is, I suppose. So, in developing any other trade routes, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Alright, so, we're going to get a... We're going to go back to uh, Matthew, because it has the best prices. And that, of course, means the approach again. Because uh, I'm going to guess it's still on the dark side. I mean, we've only been gone like two or three days. Yeah, it's on the backside. It's on the backest backside. <sighs> okay. Well, that's just the way it happens. faster. Not have to worry about dragging the prograde marker out of gravity. This one's gravity. Yep. Time to turn around. And you can really feel how sluggish this uh, ship is compared to the xylophus. It's a big one. So let's see. Kinda, okay, the prograde marker is down, so... Eventually... Ooh! When we get closer, where will that port be? We're gonna fly best Let's see. from this point on the outside of Dimitri's grave. And it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our our current our current uh, prograde is looking pretty good. Just keep it there. And make our approach. Oh, 
Ooh, getting a little, a little quick, but that's also because I'm zoomed in. You know, I, I think I said this before, but zooming in and uh, time dilation are not a good match. <laughs> I've made far more mistakes by being zoomed in and going too fast, or having the time dilation t turned up too high, than I like to admit. Right, this should put us in the right place to swing around the planet and hit up the port. But I'm gonna have to start watching out for gravity and slow. Okay, that's good. We did slow down probably a bit too much there. It's okay. Hopefully, gravity will give us a little boost. As I play this, I, I'm reminded of one of uh, Elite Dangerous's features, features that I would very much like to have, and that is the night vision. So in Elite Dangerous, ships have night vision. I mean, I say night vision, it's not really night vision, but they have this um, viewing mode that, all right, now we should break a little bit more, slow down. just the prograde marker a bit. But Elite Dangerous ships have this viewing mode where it's like, it's like night vision. And uh, it illuminates the dark sides of planets when you go past them, or when you're flying. It's very, very helpful <laughs> because, right, we can't really see the planet here. I mean, we can. You can see the stars, and then the spot where there is no stars. So, okay, that's the planet. Oops. But, no, that's right, we're going backwards. Ah, my booster was stuck on. That's why we're slowed down too much. That's okay. Um, yeah, it really helps when you have to approach a planetary port from the dark side because you can see the planet. But it's this viewing mode. And it <laughs> approaching approaching uh, port here, I would very much like that, because that would make approaching a little bit easier. So let's use our retro thrusters to help us push the marker up. probably speed this up a little bit because we're not going too fast. It does make me a little nervous though. So I don't want to overshoot. I don't want to go too fast and smack into the planet. Just a little bit more. Okay. All right, we're doing good. Oops, 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 oops. We were doing good. We're under a thousand kilometers, so we can. 
start breaking properly. Okay. Let's see. You know, I, I should pay more attention to this uh, roll percentage. Six o'clock, March sixth, thirty two twenty six. Nice day to be selling farm equipment. Let's speed this up a bit. kilometers will slow down by which I mean slow down time and there's ports so ready this was an okay approach probably had uh, too much height on the orbit but that's okay We still made it in one piece. And that's the important thing. Okay. Ten kilometers out, and let's get docking request. going a little fast. That's okay. I think. Ooh. Now, things like these are why I wonder why they built spaceports in the middle of cities. If I had spent just a little more time, or spent just a little less time on the brakes, then I would have made fair number of people fairly unhappy. I gear down. And let's put down. Ah, the shipment of farm machinery will sell out fast here. That's good. So we are still in, um, a lucrative state. Before we go, let's check any commodities wanted. Commodities, cargo, important. <laughs> there are no commodities wanted. If we had a commodities wanted mission, we could make a little bit more off of uh, off of these farm machineries. Ah, <sighs> but whatever. That's still a huge profit we're making here, right? Boom, 81,000 credits, 8,100 credits. No, 81,000, yeah, 81,000, that's good. Excellent, excellent. We have money. Well, so before we end, let's gas up. And for now, we'll call it a day, All right? Because that went a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. We made some money, and hopefully uh, we'll make some more in the near future. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.